In the previous video, we looked at how to create a revolving door using hinge constraint. Let's see what else we can do with hinges to make a traditional swinging door. In my environment, I have a simple door that I want to swing open and shut. Once again, I'm going to move this door and its frame out into the open so it's easier to work with. And I'm also going to move the door out of its frame so that I can see where I'm going to put the attachments. Now we'll start off again by using a hinge constraint up here in the model tab. And I'm going to select hinge from the drop down. I'm going to click on the door frame, and then on the door itself. Now, like before, this will create two attachments and a hinge constraint connecting them. But right now, this door won't work the way we want to. If we look at these attachments, we can see these little yellow arrows, and these show the direction of the attachment. And when the physics engine runs, it's going to try to line these attachments up along their arrows, and the hinge will allow them to spin about this arrow axis. But in this case, we don't want this axis pointed to the side, we want the axis pointed up and down. All we need to do to fix this is to rotate the attachments. Simply select an attachment by clicking on it, and then click on the Rotate tool. Now, you can drag the handles just as if you were dragging a part. Now we want to make sure we do this on both the frame attachment and the door attachment, so that their arrows are pointed in the same direction. Now, if we put our door back together, try it out, we'll see that the door can swing along this axis. But notice that the door keeps swinging even when the door hits the frame. This is because when two parts are connected with a hinge, they're going to ignore any collision between the parts themselves. We need to limit this motion without using the geometry of the parts. Fortunately, we can set how far open the door can swing by using the limits of this constraint. In the next video, we're going to cover how to set limits so we don't run into this problem.